Welcome back everyone to Pine Leaf's Past where this time I'll be going through Fate Undiscovered Realms and we'll play in adventure mode let's go on adventure level which is the middle difficulty since last time we were getting punched in the face and now let's select a character and the character selection here is same as in Fate. This is the successor to Fate. And I'll call myself Pine Leaf. Uh, right, we will go with uh, not much selection on the hair moment for the moment it looks like. Oh, well, we'll just have to go with that. Yeah. All right, we'll stay with that, accept that. And same as in Fate, you have your cat and your dog. Amber. And let's accept that. Battle-worn and weary, you emerge from the dungeon depths, triumphant. Your heroic courage has won freedom for the town of Grove prying its people from the clutches of the dungeon's mangsum scourge. As you feast upon the generous bounty brought forth by the grateful townsfolk, the appearance of a mysterious stranger casts a shadow across the festivities. The stranger, a withered old man, hunched over his gnarled cane, speaks cryptically of new evil to befall Grove, of ancient secrets locked within a temple buried deep inside the dungeon's catacombs of gateways to undiscovered realms. He weaves enchanting tales of the wealth and glory to be found in these mysterious realms. Druantia, the land of verdant forests. Typhon, with cities of ice long since fallen from the clouds. Aquatus, where murky waters entomb lost souls. And Prometheus, a world of cracked earth and flaming towers. Finally, he speaks of chaos, the realm of eternal turmoil. Of the temple's secrets, he divulges only the greatest. Hidden within is an ancient tome, the Book of Fate, which maintains the balance between these realms. Within its pages lies the key to Grove salvation. The townsfolk look to you, their new champion, to take up this perilous quest and guide the stranger through the dungeon in search of the ancient temple. You must protect the town from these foreboding prophecies. You must once again step boldly across the threshold of that ancient dungeon gate in search of your true fate. The stranger leads you into the bowels of the dungeon through endless passages and twisting corridors. He cowers in the shadows while you dispatch denizens of the dark, clearing the way for your urgent quest. At long last, the stranger calls for you to halt. Great foreboding fills your heart as he intones a guttural chant. Glowing light fills his eyes, while his body thrashes and gesticulates wildly in an eldritch trance. This is no mere old man. The chamber shudders, great cracks forming in the moldy dungeon walls. Amid a cloud of dust, rubble, and fetid fumes, turrets and statues of lost heroes thrust violently into the chamber. With a final heave, the chaos reveals the cyclopean gates of a hidden temple as described by the stranger. Behold, he mutters breathlessly, the temple of fate. The temple walls are lined with majestic statues of the fabled guardian gatekeepers of the realms. In the center of the room, an altar glows incandescently, bearing the mighty volume, the Book of Fate. Staring intently at each page, you search for the answers to Grove's deliverance, but the arcane text reveals something more ominous. This book holds powers beyond those the stranger's tales led you to believe. Locked within its covers lies the key to the undiscovered realms, protecting them from evil forces that would bring corruption and devastation. You realize now that by uncovering this temple, you have committed a grave error. At 
last, I will rule the realms. You hear the stranger cackle before blackness engulfs you, following a mighty, crackling, concussive blast. How treacherous is that? Treachery. You find yourself alone, lying prostrate on the cold temple floor. The fabled book is missing. All that remains are two whirling portals torn open by the stranger's fell magic. Gateways to realms unseen for countless eons are open in front of you. A lush green glow emits from one, no doubt leading to the long-lost forest realm of Druantia. Witheringly cold gales waft from the other. Surely this is the path to Typhon and its mysterious snowy ruins. The temple's guardian statues glare disdainfully down at you. What evil have you foolishly released upon these noble creatures' domain? You now know what must be done. Rise up as a hero and step forth into the undiscovered realms. Defeat the great evil you have unleashed and bring back the Book of Fate. All right. And that's our introduction to Fate. Your journey has begun. The Undiscovered Realms. And we start out here in the Temple of Fate. And... Yes? Welcome to the Temple of Fate. Before I will let you face your destiny, you must prove yourself. Perhaps some of the Realm Guardians can help you. So now that means that before we can do whatever quest he has... We just do get the Book of Fate, I presume. We need to complete quests for the Outpost of Juventia and the Outpost of Typhon. So therefore now we have two realms to protect instead of just one. Usual stuff. The layout of this game is pretty much the exact same thing as we had in the original Fate. Now what else have we got here? Here's a statue of the Juratia hero, and we are supposed to put stuff onto this hero. This looks like we've already got some stuff here. I can't remember the exact details of it, but I thought that we were supposed to, at some point, have stuff on all of this and hit return, and all would be nice. But the details of it fade for me, because it's been a while since. Personally, I prefer the original Fate to this one. I thought that these little things with the statues and cards and stuff like that didn't add enough to the game. And here we have something similar. The Argonauts Buckler. This, the Argonauts Helm. And I guess at some point I'm supposed to... I think put the stuff onto there. But let's have a talk to this NPC. Our realm has been plagued by the forces of Odgu. Only a legendary hero such as yourself can stop him. He is somewhere on the 26th level of the dungeon in the outpost of Druantia. I'll give you this journeyman's crescent amulet of the mage as a reward. This is similar to the opening you get in Fate, where you have a big evil that's down somewhere in the dungeon. So I'll, now we know that somewhere in Druantia, there is this Adgul that you need to defeat on the 26th level. And that's how you finish this side. I believe you have to finish both sides. In order. I've never finished Undiscovered Realms. I've finished Fate before, but not Undiscovered Realms. So... As I said before, I had a preference for fate over this one. Because one of the reasons is because they have these two realms. You go and finish one realm and then you're way over leveled for the other one. So if you go back and forth, you very quickly out level the content. Though I suppose that does allow you to get down to the 26th level a little bit faster if you don't care about being a completionist. <laughs> Uh, let's go in here. So perhaps I was just looking at it from the wrong point of view. Now we're starting out against, once again, at level 1. Ka-chuck! 
Eagle. The Shire Shrine of Karak the Blasted. On the first level, the dungeon has been corrupted. It needs to be destroyed. So we need the Shrine of Garrick the Blasted. Is what you we have received the task. That's a new type of quest that you get. This are ones where you go against shrines. A fine day. Izzel the murderous. Izzel the murderous. The mantoid has assembled an army of death caps who is advancing on the town at level one. Help us! You have received the quest. Now there is very similar to the original fate in that matter. Bond uh -huh. Oh, excuse me. Anywho, I've got some f fish hair for sale if you want them. So you can buy fish here instead of fishing them if you wish and all he's selling are fingerlings at this time I think. Oh and he has some small ones. So therefore 300 seconds of another thing if you wish to buy fish instead of going but of course they're rather expensive so maybe cheaper just to buy a fishing pole which Probably takes, yeah, start out with 250 as in the original fate. I remember last time, though, I was always forgetting to do anything with the fish, so I'm not going to go through that at the moment. Here's, of course, our usual... <clears throat> Have you seen my cousin Getz? He looks just like me, except shorter. Anyway, anything you'd like to have for sale? In other words, this is the traveling seller in this realm, and Getz is, of course, the one that you ran into in fate. Oh, here's a mushroom. Um. Goblin Snatcher, the floating mine, has assembled an army of ant workers and is advancing on the town from level three. Well, I'm not going to be getting all the way to level three, so I'm not going to take that quest. Well met. Another level three one. I think there are five quests available. <coughs> Yes, Wraith Chewer, the Betrayer, the Grub, has assembled an army of grubs advancing on the town at level one. All right. You have received a task. All right, so now we have all three of our tasks. Let's go into the dungeon, which is going to be typical style for fate. And let's see what we can do. And... <laughs> Try a number of gloves here. Whoops. Your health is failing. Sheesh. Well. Oh, here's Rachel with the betrayer. See, we're, well, at least we get a quest done right away. The quest is completed. Well, then. Well, let's go back get let's go back upstairs and turn in our quest. Yeah. Okay, took care of him. You have gained an experience and skill. You have my gratitude for dispatching Rich you were the betrayer and his minions. Here's your reward. Expertise, fame, gold, students cap of season. Requires 20 magic. Oh, whippity do! You gave me something I can't use at the moment. Well, it's 20 magic. Well, I'm not going to get 20 magic in this round. Well, let's add a little vitality. No vitality never hurts. Let's see. Well, since I'm using an axe right now, and some use action shield and use that for now. Yeah. Of course, I'll need to pick up a shield to actually take advantage of that. And, oh, actually, I have some money. Since I'm just doing a quick show here, rather than going through... If I was going more thoroughly, I'd probably... Ah, uh, that's much better. So it might have been a good idea if I had 
purchased a thing or two in town, but I'm just showing you a little bit of how this area works. So it looks a little bit different from the original. Oh, wow. Ow, oh, 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 Will you tempt fate? Yeah. The Rumbling Echoes, kind of Kelsus Ruthless has been... So oh, yeah, that, yeah, that was a great idea. Your pet has fled. Yeah, I'm fleeing too. <laughs> well, at the early levels, of course, you, you can get pounded very easily, but after a couple of runs on there, you start to get... <laughs> he can extract jams. Okay. Nothing like a beholder to help you there. Ooh. Do you want to know your fortune? Well, all lies in these cards of fate, and I can help you. So you could turn in cards and trade them for things, whatever it is. I don't know. Never dealt too much with those cards. <laughs> oh, I have heard the fertile snails are somewhere on the third level. Okay. There are also collection quests in this, which is something new for this one. Oh. It's a mere scratch or a falter. Yeah, you I feel heal refreshed. Heal. Now I'll see how quickly I can get myself killed. Hello. Well, fourth level. Ah. And rare specimens there. Well, we'll worry about those. Well, I guess not later, since I'm just showing you a quick glance into this first dungeon. You have completed a quest. Your pet is fleeing. I completed a quest. I'm... Alright. I guess all I had to do was... Oh, ah, wonderful. I went the wrong way. I don't like it when I go the wrong way like that. Alright. Yeah, that's where I wanted to go, is up those stairs. Not when I'm actually winning the fight. No, no, not, not, not up the stairs. Alright. Okay, well, what's this? Oh, I guess that's decoration. Alright, we'll go up the stairs now. So therefore, let's turn in this quest, and oh, you get him to heal me. <laughs> you feel refreshed. Yeah, thank goodness. All right, now where is? I forgot where I got picked up this quest at. Oh, look at the map. If you got a right, it said I completed a quest, didn't I? Oh, oh, cute. Ah, uh, oh, destroy the shrine of one and quest completed. Return to Chadley. Right, wherever Chadley is. Note to self, remember the, where the quiz givers are. Good day! You gained an experience and skill. Yeah, my gratitude for dispatching Izul the murderous and his minions. Here is your reward. Alrighty. Oh, up a level. And I still keep on getting bashed, so... Up a little more on that. Alright. Well, that is it for this side, so next time we will check the other door if it will allow us to go, assuming I can find a way. Ah, oh, yes, here's to the Temple of Fate. Yes, 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 to the Temple of Fate, to the Temple of Fate! Yes, alright. And next time we will head out to the other door of the Temple of Fate and see what's in the slightly colder realm.